For the sixth time this year, the Lynchburg Police Department says a minor has been shot. It happened along Cabell Street last night. This time, we're told a 17-year-old was hurt, and while that boy is expected to be okay, both police and community leaders say this has to stop. WFXR's Anna McDougal is live in Lynchburg tonight with what we now know. Anna? Yeah, Kathleen, well, the people I spoke with today agreed that one crime like this is one too many. And while the city has enacted some strategies that have proven to be successful, everybody agrees that the work is not done. We all have to take responsibility. What can we do to solve this problem? A 17 year old was shot last night on Cabell Street, just the latest in a series of shootings with victims under 18. The year's first was in February when a 12 year old was shot and killed on Monroe Street. Just one month later, a 16 year old died after being shot. In April, a 15 year old was shot by another teenager. Then in May, six year old Kingston Campbell was shot and killed, a case that horrified the community and remains unsolved. And in August, a 12 year old was hurt in a shooting at an apartment complex. That's six for the year so far, and community advocates say it shows there's still a lot of work to be done. We have got to continue to find ways to help our youth to distract them and, and guide them in other directions. Um, I think that's going to be the key thing. Lynchburg Police and City Council enacted a youth curfew in May, and since then, violent crime in the city is down by more than 25%. A success story to be sure, but not the end of the story. What are we doing to stop it? So what are the church, the faith-based community doing? What are our schools doing? What are parents doing? What are the ordinary citizens doing? Now, the Lynchburg police were not able to speak with me on camera today, but they do say that they believe this is an isolated incident and that there's no direct threat to the general public. They're asking anyone with any information to give them a call. Live in Lynchburg, Anna McDougal, WFXR News.